Alrighty, here we are, Saturday night, NFL Divisional Playoffs, you know, the first part is done, it's over with, now we have two of the teams that will be going to the AFC and NFC Championship games, respectively. Let's go over the game just, I just finished first, and what everybody else just finished first. That is the Buffalo Bills, the Baltimore Ravens. The Buffalo Bills bring out the tables. You are going back to the AFC Championship game. Now, I did say in my preview on Friday that, you know, it was going to be a dogfight defensively. But I didn't think, I didn't think that the Bills, you know, would, you know, keep it like that on Lamar Jackson and company. Lamar Jackson got hurt. He got hurt in this game. Concussion protocol, you know it's over. You know your season is over when you got when you get in the concussion protocol. I don't even know who they brought in. The game was over by that point. I mean, Teron Johnson got a hundred a and one yard interception return. You know, Lamar had a pass. It was like at the ten yard line, near you know the goal line and stuff like that. And he just threw it, just threw a bad pick, and that pretty much sealed the deal right there. Also in that game, there were a lot of missed kicks. We're talking Justin Tucker doinked two of them. Two doinks in this game. So very surprising there. You know, so the, so the Baltimore Ravens just couldn't get any momentum going. I mean, they ran the ball a little bit, but even then, that, that didn't really do too much. I mean, if you keep the Ravens under 150 yards rushing, you're gonna have a good time, and you know Josh Allen was throwing it all over the field, throwing it to Stephon Diggs mostly, and everybody else. You know Diggs had a hundred yards, had a hundred plus yards in the touchdown. Can't beat those stats. Can't beat those stats. You know, and I mean, get out the tables, Buffalo. Get out those tables. What a damn good defensive performance. I mean, this was just a damn good game. You know, Buffalo's offense may have struggled a little bit, but when they needed to get the job done, they got the job done. The defense really stepped up. And for Baltimore, hey, it's okay. You know, you can always come back next year. You know, you guys are proving yourselves each and every week that you are contenders. You are definitely contenders now in the AFC. I thought it was, we, we all thought it was going to be Houston, you know, out here in the playoffs this year, but that didn't happen at all. We saw what happened from Jan from last January onwards to Houston. But the Bills been the most surprising growth at all that I've seen this year. It has been amazing to watch Josh Allen throw the ball and sling the ball down the field. You know, when he's not overthrowing it like he did the first couple passes in this game. So, what about the other game? Rams, Packers. Rams going on the road. Aaron Donald, you know, he got a little messed up ribs. You know, Cooper Cup out. J Jared Goff in. Blake Bortles, the backup, not John Wolford. Blake Bortles, backup quarterback. Cam Akers, he was supposed to run off, and that didn't happen. That didn't happen at all. In fact, the Rams just looked awful out there. I mean, yeah, there were a couple touchdowns they had to stay in this, but it was very clear. You know when Aaron Rodgers is throwing it to Tunyon and Adams and, 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 I mean, you know, other guys on the field. I mean, you know, it's just about the scantling. I mean, you know, everybody was eating for the, for the Packers. Even the running back reading. I didn't even know A.J. Dillon was on the Packers. Did y'all know that A.J. Dillon was on the Packers? I forgot he was even on this team. You know, and Aaron Jones, Jamal Matthews, and A.J. Dillon eating on the ground. Rams just couldn't do anything to stop it. I mean, Aaron Donald had to leave the game. He had to leave. You know, Jalen Ramsey said he was going to lock up Devontae Adams. I said this was a matchup that we needed to focus on. And guess what? Adams got a touchdown anyway against Tor Ramsey. And you know Ramsey was furious. You know he was furious. Just, yeah, I mean, ugh. And I mean, Goff's play didn't didn't help. The other wide receivers didn't really help. Cam Akers didn't help. You know, no Cooper Cups. So only Robert Woods really was reliable for 
the Rams. It just didn't happen. Just did not happen for the Rams. So, you know, another season. Sean McVay and company gone. And they'll be over and done with there. You know, it's unfortunate for the Rams. You know, they had a promising new stadium that they have to share with the Chargers. Um... I mean, things were just not looking too pretty. Not looking pretty at all for the Rams that, that entire game. And I felt like, you know, at one point the Rams were going to come back. But it just didn't happen. They just played too poorly in this game against the Packers. They played too poorly. So, two teams set. The Packers will host either the Buccaneers or the Saints next Sunday. And that will be early next Sunday. The early game next Sunday. And then the Bills will either host the Browns or they'll travel up to Kansas City. We'll find out who goes up and meets with these two teams in the Packers and the Bills tomorrow. It has been a bizarre experience to say the least. You know, this NFL playoffs, what we've been experiencing, you know, fans were allowed in Buffalo and Green Bay. And, you know, again, I mean, 2020 season, the 2020 and 2021 season has been a bizarre experience for the NFL. And we we only have a few more games left. I'm very sad already. I'm very sad. And we only have a few games left in the NFL. So we have to talk about other stuff on this channel. I'm so mad. I'm so sad. But we'll see you tomorrow night. Probably about the same time tomorrow night. And, you know, have a, have a good night, everybody. We'll see you. See you after those NFL games.